Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I previously unboxed the Arduino Giga Display Shield and mounted it to my Giga R1 Wi Fi board. And now we're going to start working with the Arduino Giga Display Shield. The documents page for the Giga Display Shield is multifaceted. There's a lot of information to take in here. So, if you look at the main features section here, this calls out several guides, the graphics guide, LVGL guide, uh, IMU guide, camera guide, RGB docs, and the microphone guide. Under essentials, you see suggested libraries, a list of built-in examples, I don't know what's under learn, the language reference, LVGL documentation, Tutorials. Again, here, this is breaking out the various facets of the Giga Display Shield. Very interesting. There's a lot of layers here to take in. And then resources. Looks very handy. So we're actually going to be working through this article. Look for the link down below in the description. Getting started with the Giga Display Shield. And this one is a multifaceted article in and of itself. At the very top, they're going to explore the graphics library. And this is the Arduino Giga Display Graphics Library. That's a layer on top of the Adafruit Graphics Core Library. LVGL, Arduino Graphics, drawing images on the screen. Here's a discussion of the core libraries you're going to want to install. And then when you install the Arduino Giga Display Shield Library itself, you're going to have access to the camera connector the IMU sensor, and they have example sketches here for the IMU, example sketch for the microphone, and an example sketch for the onboard RGB display. So we're going to go ahead and start out at the top working with the graphics library examples. And that's on this page here, Giga Display Shield Graphics Guide. Of course, the hardware and software needed, we're going to use version 2 of IDE, and you got to install the Arduino Giga Display Graphics Library. There's a basic example. Here's a methods overview. Then there's a text example sketch. Pixels and shapes, and it talks about what commands you need to draw pixels and shapes. Then there's a graphics touch example. Yeah, see here I'm running version 2 of the IDE. In Boards Manager, you have to have Arduino Embed OS Giga Boards support installed. And that's 408 version is what I have. In Library Manager, you want to have the Giga Display Touch and Giga Display Graphics libraries installed. Yeah, Arduino Giga Display. This is the first sketch basic example I've connected to the Arduino Giga R1. We're going to launch it, and this looks like it's just going to put Hello World on the screen. Let's go ahead and upload that. Here we go. There's the reset. Yeah, there's Hello World at the top of the screen. What's all that funky garbage on the screen, though? That's kind of interesting. When I looked at the basic example and text example, I didn't see much difference between the two. But let's go ahead and check that out. Yeah, so this is the basic example. And here is the text example. Oh, they define a color black and they fill the screen with black. Let's go ahead and upload that and see what happens next. Here's our reset. Okay, look at the screen is filled with black and there's our hello world. So this came out a lot nicer than the basic example. Obviously, you want to set colors and fill the screen. Okay, the next example is pixels and shapes. We've defined two colors. We've set the screen to white, and we're going to draw these various shapes in black. You can see the coordinates for those shapes. All right, and here's some example commands. These are methods. There's the reset, and there you see, triangle, circle, rounded rectangle, and rectangle. Pretty cool. This is, this is real basic, but you know, we have to start with the basics. We'll be building on this as we start to move along. All right.
right, so this is really the best example here, the graphics touch. We're def again, we're defining two colors. We got a screen size and screen X and Y values there. Initializing the display and the touch controller. Okay, so void loop's just waiting to see if there's a touch and it wants to get the XY axis of that touch. And then it calls this change switch function at the bottom here. And change switch just alternately fills the screen with white and black and sets the text color to the opposite. You know, that sounded rather boring because what, what are we losing here? Yeah, I went ahead and added the X and Y coordinates. I want those on the screen as well. So I added those four lines of code. Yeah, that text size 5 is a rather large font. You see, I have to go 450 and 500 because half the screen size is 400. All right, there's the reset. Okay, so you can see it's alternating the screen color at every touch and registering the XY value accordingly. So this has been pretty interesting. Like I say, we want to start. I don't want to rush through this. I want to go step by step through each of the examples. I might add something like I did there. Now, you may want to go back and watch Getting Started with Arduino Giga R1 Wi-Fi. I have a lot more detail about setting up the board manager support and the libraries that were required for the examples then. So you might be interested in watching that video. Look for the link in the description below. Hey, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, and before you go watch more of my Arduino videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.